Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BCRX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Pretty crazy movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but then of course you look at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one, so let's map out some areas of support and resistance as we head into Wednesday. First key level of support that stands out is kind of a, you know an area where is the price gonna make some progress or not? What do I mean by that? Well, there's no doubt about it. You know There is a, a nice little bounce that occurred to think that at one point during uh, you know the low point of the day the price has gotten all the way down to $3.10 however it was able to bounce you know and get itself back up over the 350ish area so while there's still plenty of work to you know you know that needs to be done from a bullish side of things compared to like I said how low it was to you know where it eventually went that is you know a nice little bounce but as far as you know it, does this bounce have any sort of genuine strength behind it well let's just simply see if it can make some progress and how am I defining quote unquote progress well that's where this level right here at uh, $3.40 comes into play. So let's see if the price can stay above 340. Case in point being, and I'm not saying this is what's going to occur, but if the price were to kind of do something like this and then work its way downwards and then break back down below 340, well at that point in time, that would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range that it just broke out of and not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true strength. Whereas if the price were to just kind of hover along that area, so I'm not saying there's anything wrong with pulling back. I mean, no price can go straight up, but if it were to pull back, behave like that, and then begin to work its way back upwards, well, in that situation, what would you have? You'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have those lows down there. If you envision each of those as stair steps, well, there you go. Now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction, and that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And again, the quote unquote progress point right there at $3.40. So keep a very close eye on that. I realize things are hard to see, but that's just a function of the fact that, you know, with the way the price has acted, it's made the proportions uh, harder to see. In the event this bounce continues, let's talk about a couple areas of resistance. In terms of where the sellers are at, if there is gonna be any sort of bigger upwards momentum that occurs, it's all about that $4 mark. A couple times this morning, price tried to get up through there, just couldn't quite do it. So that'll definitely be public enemy number one going forward. But again, to give credit where credit's due, uh, the price has put together itself a nice little bounce this afternoon. So we'll see if the bulls can build upon that momentum or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.